Hey guys, Colleen here. I'm so excited to share with you guys my first build of 2024. This year, I wanna focus a little bit more on building. Obviously, I'll still be doing repairs, but building is kind of where my heart has been for a while. I wanna just do a little bit of a show and tell um, of this build that I did. So I have had this cabinet for a really long time and I don't remember where even I originally found it, but I do believe that it was an old speaker cabinet for like a PA system. And I believe that this PA system probably resided in a sheriff's office or something like that. And I'll kind of show you guys why I think that. But this was a collaboration with my boyfriend, Mike. He helped me with the woodworking and the metalwork because he's so good at that. We hand punched, hand drilled the chassis. The whole circuit is hand wired and it's based loosely off of uh, the Gibson GA5T. I love Gibson GA5s. I think they're the champ's dirty cousin. They have so much dirt and they break up so nicely. Um, so I just wanted to build a clone of one and I put my own spin on a few things, but that was kind of the basis for this amp and the inspiration. So I'm calling this amp the Fazio 5 and it's a nod to Hawaii 5 the original, because this amp I believe was in a sheriff's station or something like that. I'll give you guys a little bit of a closer look and I will give you some sound demos. I'm really excited about this. This is totally a one-off and it is available for sale. If you have any interest, please email me. I'll put my email address in the description of this video. For my lovely Patreon subscribers, I will do a little bit more of a deep dive into the circuit of this amp and show you guys like some gut shots and talk a little bit about the components I used. Um, just a little something special for you guys. Let me give you a little bit of a closer look. You know, Hank, I've got all these demos that I recorded years ago that I would love to upload, to share and stream. I recorded these tracks years and years ago with my really good friend on his tape machine. And it would just be fun to have those all accessible. So I decided why not try out DistroKid. As we know, DistroKid is a service that helps musicians upload their music to all major streaming platforms. The app is so user-friendly. You can upload album art straight from your phone and it's really easy to input all of the track information. And then you just upload the track and boom, you're done. Viewers of my channel get 30% off at the link I will post below. It's distrokid.com slash VIP slash Fazio. So go check it out, get those dusty old demos or your fresh sparkly new tracks whatever it may be, get it uploaded. All right, of course, after recording this, I've realized that my mic hasn't been working. Um, same old story, so just bear with me. I'll be getting a new one for future videos. Thanks. So let's take a closer look at the cabinet here. Originally, it was completely painted gray, and we actually kept the gray paint on the bottom, which I'll show you in a moment, but we stripped the paint and were so stoked to find this beautiful wood grain. The handle is like a retro-inspired drawer pull that we painted copper, and then the grill is metal, and that's like some cool metal stock we found at Home Depot and painted it copper. The reason why we went with copper is because we had this really cool copper leaf. The intention here was to kind of make the grill area shine because the metal and the copper leaf reflect off of each other. We also have these really pretty decorative screws for the speaker mounting screws. Um, this is like totally reminiscent of like old Gibsons that have the really nice decorative screws. I always have loved that look. So here's a little look at what it originally looked like. Um, it was completely painted in this gray paint. We thought it would be cool to leave the bottom painted gray, just a nod to its roots. All right, and then coming in from the back, I will start by drawing your attention to this right here. This was actually originally in the cabinet this is a reason why I believe it's a PA speaker cabinet from like a sheriff's office or something like that because of the phone numbers listed there. So I mounted it in there kind of like a tube chart. I used a Jensen mod speaker and 
not everybody like loves these. I don't love them in every application, but I do think it sounds really good in this amp. I actually use Jensen mods in my test cab. They're fairly cheap. I use them in my test cab because if one blows, it's not like super detrimental. I had one lying around and it sounded really good in this amp. It gets so crunchy. You guys will hear that in a moment. The chassis, we painted that with a copper hammerite, which is totally a nod to like 40s manufacturing. Um, I love the old hammerite finishes that I find in old amps. So totally a nod to that. We have a volume and tremolo and the Fazio 50 and all the other lettering you see on this chassis was hand engraved and then we used enamel paint. These knobs I found on CE distribution and I love them. I think they look really cool with the colors. Here's the input jack and we've got the power switch, which I'm noticing is a little, a little crooked, so I'll fix that. Still buttoning up some loose ends. And the jewel is a new old stock jewel that I had lying around and I love like the smooth glass. The tubes are a 12x7 preamp tube. The tremolo slash output tube is a 6BM8 tube. And then we have a 5Y3 rectifier. All right, so first I'll show you guys how this amp sounds clean and then I'll crank it up and show you how she sounds dirty. checking out this video i'm really excited to bring more builds this year and uh, like i said if you're interested shoot me an email otherwise stay tuned for more i'll see you guys next time <laughs>